A different conversation might look like this. Hi guys, great to be back here before the BCP Investment Committee. You may recall us showing you a version of this chart in the past. Oh sure, that's the one that explains the sources of your returns. That's right. In the past, we've calculated that across our portfolio, 40% of our equity returns come from increasing portfolio company EBITDA, 20% comes from expanding portfolio company valuation multiples, 20% comes from portfolio company cash flows, and the remaining 20% comes from using moderate portfolio company leverage to amplify equity gains. Well, we have since rolled up our sleeves and dug a bit deeper with an eye towards ESG factors, and candidly, mistakes were made. It turns out that these value drivers really only account for about 80% of equity value creation. And this gap right here might be loosely defined as environmental destruction and social strife. Now, certainly this was never the intention of our value creation plans, rather an inevitable consequence of pursuing various profit-maximizing pathways in a global economic environment. However, we believe that going forward, we can shift to more ESG-compliant value creation mechanisms and essentially eliminate the destructive elements of our prior approach, providing an equity return value creation profile that looks more like this. Wow, that is quite impressive, really a remarkable amount of detail and disclosure. Can you tell us how much you think this will impact your returns? Absolutely, we're glad you asked. Historically, our funds have returned about 2x net after fees, expenses, and carry, with a net internal rate of return of about 21%. It is quite easy to show that if you go back and make various pro forma adjustments to remove the environmental destruction and social strife, our ESG compliant returns will be closer to 1.6 and 15%. We hope that you'll agree that this is a reasonable trade-off for investing in a manner that makes the world a better place.